Hey there, everyone. This is Alcow with Petapon Saucepans and everyone else. Wait, we just had an event. In fact, the event just ended. What the heck? Well, that's the thing. Uh, we just had an extremely ridiculous situation where the event only added a single one game to the list of games. And two of them into the unofficial A side. And, like, so, where I was told was not a long game. Halo, I'm past the midpoint of that game. And so we end up with only two games in waiting. So once these two are taken up, uh, then we've got nothing going on. And although one of those games is long, the other not nearly. So you know what? No. This is the right time. We're just jumping right into the next event. I got all the royals in waiting here this time. I'm going to remember to shuffle. If you were looking for your name there post-shuffle, I do apologize. I just kind of jumped on the spin immediately. Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> Alright. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? It's Cuboid! Welcome to the world of Cuboid. Uh, that's fun. Cuboid. Uh, one of the early pillars of the community. Uh, kind of, you know, life has taken over from what I understand, so they're not as present as they used to, but they're still there. Uh, they are recognized every time they show up. They're always fun to be around. Cuboid. Finally, it is your shot at something going on. I'm going to be looking in the Google form later to see what three games you've proposed. And I'm going to choose one of them. That's how it works. That's how the whole concept works. Uh, I don't know. Every time it's someone I recognize. I, like, I'm not, like, it's... People who I don't know anything about is always a thrill because I don't know what to expect. And when it's someone I recognize, it's also a thrill because it's like, nah, hey, I recognize you. <laughs> My brain chemicals are like, yeah, I know you and I'm happy for you. And it's happening. And there you go. Cuboid, yes. Um, it's still pretty early on, so I doubt you're going to have to change your games. But, uh, you know. I mean, I know you're there, so uh, if you got anything to tell me, now's the time. All right, okay, so fix things a little bit, uh, because like I said, like this is, <laughs> I the time I'm recording this, technically speaking, the event hasn't ended yet, and I have not uh, fixed my local divine bucket.txt. To represent the shifts and the games being taken and, and all that. It's all good. Never mind. It's all good. We're going to get five games out. And y'all are going to vote for one of them. Using ranked voting. It's a lot of fun. It's very good. Everyone enjoys it. Everyone is always a thousand percent happy with what wins. Absolutely forever. What are you talking about? Boop, boop, boop. Let's just go. So, from what I learned, uh, Picker Wheel, the site I'm using for this, now has a premium service, uh, which is how you can choose the music. So my account is just locked to this music forever now. That's pretty good. Here we go, Crypt of the Necro Dancer, starting strong. All right, let's click this link. This, there we go. So for those who don't know what this game is, it is very well known. So I'd be shocked, but it's possible. It is, I guess I can best describe it as a um, roguelike rhythm game. Welcome. Where you have to move and do action to the rhythm of the music. This game looks super rad. And the, like I've heard some of the music and it is super good. Like I, I want to play. This game I would probably struggle to play. But honestly, I, you know what? But I want to learn how to play it. Like I feel like I do. I will. I feel like rhythm is like one of those things I struggle a bit with video games, and you know what? This would force me to be good. But also, like it's like you know, just like a lot. There's a lot of heart in this game. There's like a whole lot happening. I mean, the trailer kind of shows how there is a whole lot happening. It is. Beautiful chaos, and I, 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 it just looks so good. 
of the Necrodancer. Grab the Necrodancer. Like that is such a good name too. Like I, I want to play this. I absolutely super duper want to play this. And uh, it's pretty well known. Like so, that's the thing. I feel a lot of people would say, "No, Rao Cal, this is a terrible idea. You'd be very bad at at this." But I feel like I want to get better at the thing that I would be bad at. And this would be the key. I don't know. I, I That is what I genuinely believe. But yeah, Crypt of the Nickel Dancer. I love the name too. Like, it's such a good name. It's such a good name. It's such a clever pun. Gonna be real. If we get another a Psycho Battle game, I might veto it. Figured I'd just say that out loud right now. Just, because I kind of want to, I want an actual game buffer now, you know? Kind of on the edge of our seat here. On the precipice of doom. OG Castlevania. Okay. So, Castlevania here uh, refers to the NES classic, which is uh, very important. Well, I don't know if it's important, but you know, it's an important, I feel like, game as part of the NES culture. It's a game I absolutely want to play. And sort of being our introduction to playing other Castle games. I, like, I did play Symphony of the Night before, but you know, starting at the basic. I'm aware that an LP of Castlevania on the NES might not be super long. So if there's a demand for it, I would also consider extending into playing some of the more interesting ports. Uh, so I'm just putting that tease out there uh, if anyone is interested. Like, it's not something I'm guaranteeing. But, you know, like I said, because Castlevania otherwise, just Castlevania S would not be very long. But, you know, just putting that out there. Uh, but yeah, very, no, very well known. Uh, little NES game from back in the day. Pretty hard. Pr uh, hard because of jank. Hard because of old controls. But it's a classic for a reason. Like, it's still beloved to this day. And uh, that is pretty rad. Uh, so, yeah, no, yeah. Like, yeah? Yeah? Maybe. Those are words I have said. And uh, you cannot tell me otherwise. I mean, that's just true. You know, that is what I said. Just straight up. What am I going on about? I don't know, Castlevania. It's pretty cool. You know, it's... You got a castle. You got a van. Then go like, yeah, while you ride your van through the castle. I think that's what it's about. I am probably correct. Do, do, do. Check it out. Number three is Mega Man Rock and Roll Fan Game. Okay. All right, that one seems to be the right one. So yeah. Uh, remember back when I used to play a lot of Mega Man fan games? They still exist. They they are still out there. Mega Man Rock and Roll is one that was released not too long ago. This, uh, the trailer here is four years old, so, like, it's pretty recent. I was told that this game is, like, super good. Uh, Mega Man Rock and Roll. Like, I, I, I was told, alright, this was, like, way up there in terms of quality. And so, yeah, absolutely I would love to play this. Absolutely. So I see Roll is getting Mega Manification from Mega Man 4. <laughs> That is, that's honestly pretty clever. Why, why have I, ready to roll? Yeah, so straight up Mega Man game, man. Like, you know what that is. You know, you know what that be. Ah, oh, it looks so good. Whoa, okay, you can also sweat. Ready to rock. Wow, yeah, you can say both. Ready to rock fits, it's something can say. Ready to roll is something can fit. That is funny. Ready to proto, no. Ready to base, if you're an idiot, maybe. So, yeah, okay. Look at that. Oh, this looks so good. Like, I am upset that I'm seeing so much from this thriller, but I'm very good at forgetting. Like, I'm not worried that... But, but, no, yeah. Like, like this is clearly... Oh, missile. Reactor! Polar! Beetle! Die! Ghost! Dune! And Drake? Wait, okay. I discounted, I guess. I want a weapon to shield. Wow, yeah, you are showing a lot. Oh, there you go. This is all the things you can do. Got a big old beam for you! The owl, that is straight up the uh, the, the beam from, from Alice from Megamari, isn't it? Like, that was just that alright. 
Ah, oh, that looks that's so good. Look good. Look at that little cute little dragon. I want to play this game. I mean, yeah, like I kind of want to play every game I've seen yet. Like I want to play every game in the in the bucket list. But no, I really want to play this. Oh man, they're showing a lot. Just, I mean, they showed all the bosses like straight up. Are you, should you do that? Is that something you should do when you're making a trailer for a Mega Man game? Considering that the bosses uh, typically are sort of like one of the highlights. I don't know, I mean, that's a decision they made with. They're like showing, yeah, I know, so we've got varied bosses doing a bunch of varied things. They want to show that off. I get that. I, I respect that. That looks so good, though. Man, we got three games here, which I feel like I would pick in the heartbeat. And but like like I don't know if they're monsters necessarily, but they're all like very strong. Well, and there's gonna have to pick two more, so here we go. Spinning in circle, forgotten to lore. Does that make sense? Forgot? I guess that's like if your legacy is lost, you know, lost legacy. Film Canism. I. What is that? Available on Nintendo Switch. Doesn't really mean anything. Film Canism. Sometimes they're a game in my list. I literally like. What? Okay. Level state recording film. What is happening here, game? So his name is Rec? Like, record? So it's like a puzzle platformer, block-based, maybe? It's a cute little guy. Okay, then you reset the world. Okay, 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 so it's a save state game. Control various gimmicks. That's kind of funny. Oh. This looks super neat. Oh, there is a vibe here. Oh, I am digging this. Now I understand why I added it to my list. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> okay, oh, that is really cool. Really weird name. Film kinism. Record, restore, eerie. That's my favorite verb. Yeah, yeah, like I feel like I've never really heard of that, but it looks really interesting. Like a slower type of game, more about puzzles. And whatnot. That's a good genre. That's a good like subgenre. Okay. All right. Like I just don't know if it flies in this list, but maybe. That would be nice. That would be good. Now we're going to an advent. More the check. Ooh. Okay. All games are based on pixels up until more the chicken, which I think is a PlayStation game. All right, so uh, that's a bit long, two minutes. Uh, whatever, we'll do it. It says it's from like a CD demo, which yeah, makes sense. That's that's how you would get trailers. Well, they have themselves a party. Uh huh. It's a lot of chickens. They're very blurry. I mean, that's probably because it's a. Well, I mean, the video itself, the upload is nine years old for one thing, and uh, yeah, I don't know like what's the quality of like the. Of taking this from the CD. But okay, so this is a plot based uh, trailer. <laughs> the cube is getting all the chickens. I don't know why it's been so violent about it. There you go. Okay, so yeah, it's a PlayStation platform game. <laughs> why not? It's kind of nice. There, it's definitely stylized. Uh, like, that is a long face. Like, long just head. This is a terrible trailer, too. Just gonna go ahead and say it. I mean, it shows off gameplay. Honestly, kind of reminds me a little bit of Jumping Flash, but, like, maybe less high jumping. Also, you got, like, a, 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 a trolley of chickens behind you. Kind of like Flicky. Remember Flicky? Um, what are the environment? Like, are, are, is the whole trailer gonna be here in, like, toy land? Because uh, that is definitely a decision. Okay, no. There's metal. Alright. Look, back then, trailers were bad. They were just- they didn't know how they were. They were not- they, I mean, they were just not frequent enough. 
But you know, this is kind of like, like I want to see what a game is. I'm serious. 3D platform, roaming around, you gotta glide, you can find a shield in an egg, that's weird. Looking like you want to get things. I could not tell those were stairs. But that's probably just a bad quality of the video. <laughs> that looked like a column to me, not stairs. And there's a well. Mort goes in the well. Hell yeah, it does. Mort the chicken. Ubisoft. But it's old Ubisoft, at the very least. Uh, okay. Alright. It's Mort the chicken. Fun fact, MRT in French would be said mort, and it's the word that means death or dead. The adjective and the noun are uh, identical. So here we are. What a list. What is going to win? Uh, I need to fix the capitalization before I put them in the thing. So we got Cripple the Necro Dancer, Rhythm Game, Castlevania. Mega Man Rock and Roll. Turns out because you can play as Rock and Roll, perhaps. I don't know. I know it's a fan game. I don't need to. I don't need. <laughs> I don't need a reminder. Film Camism, which I do not know how to properly. Uh, yeah, how is that written? Everywhere I've seen this on the internet, it's written in all caps. So I guess it's an all caps type of game. And Mort the Chicken. Go on a website and vote and choose and stuff. And also sing a little song if you want to. If you got one in your heart. I won't force you though. As for my own choice on the R Zone, I'm just going to say it outright. There's a Sonic game. It was released in 2010 that I put on my computer because of ATS. Because the next year was 2010. And I'm not gonna delete it until I play it. You've heard that story before. That exact situation has happened before. Well, 2010 was the last game that had a lot of Sonic releases, so... Yeah! Not a Steam game this time, though. It's a, it's a, it's a Sonic I'm gonna play using other methods than Steam. But yeah, vote! S say things. Write words. Do things, do stuff, uh, and uh, yeah, uh, looks like this time we're going to be able to build up a little bit more of a list, which, whew, okay, that's what I was hoping for.